career goals. We also have news in the U.S. Open. The Black Stars of Ghana, as they were surprised by Angola yesterday, Adebaba Yara Sports Stadium in Kumase. When I night in third minute goal from second half substitute Jayo Melison ensured that the Black Stars lost their first 2025 Group F AFCON qualify to the Angolian side. The Stars had most of the chances in each half and could have scored a goal or two, but Angolan keeper, goalkeeper sorry, was up and doing a mistake from Abdul Mumin in stoppage time was recycled by the Angolans. Speaking after the game, Coach Otuado had launched the good performance from the Angolians. Um, oh, okay. First of all, um, um, congratulations to Angola. They did well. Um, they changed the tactical formations. We saw it actually before the, the game because we saw that they we start with three central defenders, so we knew that they will play differently. And um, they took a high risk in pressing us or trying to press us very very high. And this lead, I think. You, you could see that they, especially at the end of the first half, also they lost a little bit of power. And um, we had, we still created a chance because they played in the last nine man against man. Sometimes was just Jordan alone against one uh, defender. Sometimes was uh, Antoine, um, Jordan, and Fatal three against three. And um, yeah, surely I think there we could have done more. Um, in the second half, um, I think um, we took control. Um, we controlled the game, we created a lot of chances, or even half chances where I think, yeah, we have to try and uh, take faster decisions to shoot earlier a little bit, um, um, not to, I mean, I like that they, they, they played like a team, um, but sometimes a little bit more egoistic in, in shooting. Um, yeah, the goalkeeper did well, um, congratulations to the goalkeeper from Angola, he saved some, some really, really good, good balls. Um, yeah, and at the end, I mean, at least I think we deserve the, the point at least. He also spoke on the nature of the pitch, but was quick not to attribute the loss to the pitch. A lot of things to, to learn in a lot of situation. Um, and just to be clear, I don't want to plan this loss on the pitch, you know, even though it was not good, but um, uh, against uh, Central African Republic, it was also not good and we won. So, so we have to do better, this, this is for sure. Now, Angolan's head coach, Pedro Conquelves, also expressed strong sentiment on the state of the pitch at the Babayara Sports Stadium. We are improving um, step by step. We tried the flexibility uh, dimension of uh, the structure. Uh, in the first half, we tried to, to pressure, to pressure high. Uh, we tried always uh, to play football. The, the pitch is difficult. I think a uh, country uh, like uh, Ghana deserves a uh, better, better stadium with a better national uh, um, pitch. Uh, for playing football because they are lovely players. They deserve a better, a better pitch. Now let's listen to some fans' reactions after the game. Oh, the game it was good by me. I will blame the coach okay. uh, based on uh, his tactical changes yeah. during the changes because he's supposed to change. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, this guy, Ishaku, yeah. Ishaku, based on his form. That's why I think he started him. Yeah. He's supposed to start uh, this guy. Uh, uh, the same Prince ahead of uh, Ishaku. But due to uh, Ishaku's current form mm -hmm. at Leicester City and Semenyo yeah. today, first half, he's supposed to, he's supposed to score uh, two goals, but yeah. due to uh, 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 he couldn't finish uh, during the final third yeah. due to some errors. Yeah. But, my, first of all, I will blame the coach okay. based on how uh, he, uh, during the substitution time, yeah. around 80 minutes, mm. even the weight team, yeah. he, he do the he showed, very good. Yeah. And he changed, uh, what do you call it? He changed. Uh, I think um, a big mistake from, on the part of Coach Otoado, because 
we were playing two defensive midfielders in the light of um, Elisha Owens and uh, Thomas K. Patu. And then Marisa Smoyo was sitting on the bench. After the 72nd minute, Ghana had no score, a single goal, and then um, um, Marisa Smoyo was on the bench. You see, we were more creative, creative midfielder. That was a big mistake on the part of Coach Otuado. And then I think that caused everything. Marisa, what are you doing? You are not going to play. No, now, they were going to say, Coach, let's go with the job and the party. And if I saw you, I would have one. Tell me, you are for one shabu. It's for one shabu. Tell me, you are 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 for one shabu. Now, the Black Princesses of Ghana suffered defeat in their second group game at the ongoing FIFA Under-20 Women's World Cup. Ghana suffered a 1-4 defeat through the 2018 champions to a record back-to-back -back losses in the competition. You see Bazigi's side came into the encounter following a defeat to Austria in their first group game, but were a favorite in all departments of the game. Now, on international front, Cristiano Ronaldo has become the first player to score Core 900 top level career goals as Portugal kicked off their nation's league campaign with a victory over Croatia. Then 39 year old volleyed in from the edge of the six yard box in the 34th minute to double Portugal's lead from Nuno Mendes' deep cross. It was a record standing 130. One goal for Portugal coming 20 years after his first, and the veteran sank to his nails, to to his knees. Sorry, in an emotional celebration, Portugal are level on point at the top of Group One after the opening game with Poland, who beat Scotland. Now to the to some English Premier League news: Cole Palmer and Ch uh, Ben Chirwell are among four senior players left out of Chelsea's Conference League squad. England forward Cole Palmer, midfielder. Romeo Lavia and defender Wesley Fofana has been purposely left out to manage their workload. Chelsea could play about 80 matches this season in five competitions. The decision was made to rest star man Palmer in the league phase of Euro's third year competition with Lavia and Fofana working their way from long-term injuries. Chelsea can re-register the trio from knockout round on 6th February when the squad can be resubmitted. Now in tennis, Jessica Pergulia staged a stunning comeback to set up an enticing U.S. Open final against world number one, world number two, Arimba, Arena Sabalanka. The American came from a set break and break point down to see off Carolina. Now let's hear from Jessica Pergulia speaking after the game. I was thinking, all right, that was kind of lucky. Like, try, <laughs> like you're still in this. And it comes down to really small moments that flip momentum. And she, I came out flat, but she was playing unbelievable. I mean, she made me look like a beginner. I was like about to like burst into tears because it was embarrassing. <laughs> like she was destroying me. And I was able to just hold into that game. And um, I was able to find a way, find some adrenaline, find my legs. And then at the end of the second set into the third set, I started to play like how I wanted to play. And it just, I, yeah, it took a while, but um, I, I don't know how I turned that around, honestly. Let's also listen to world number two, Arena Sabalanka. Well, guys, now you're cheering for me. Well, I mean, it's a bit away. <laughs> that that's really means a lot. And even though you guys were supporting her, I still I had the goosebumps from, from you cheering up her. And there was really um, incredible atmosphere. I really enjoyed playing. And she's, she's such a great player, a really tough opponent. And I'm really happy to get through these difficult semifinals. This is how I wrap up sports chat here on the Morning Star. I am Nana Ama Ajemain. Up next is Lantam Papanko.